I started uh, in 1992, so I've been here 30 years this month. And uh, how far do you want me to go back? I've always had an interest in aviation. My dad was a lifetime Navy man. Uh, he was a recruiter when I was, he, he had got out of the active service. He's a Vietnam veteran. Uh, my sister went in the Navy and got all her GI benefits. She, believe it or not, my sister, who was delicate as a flower, was a diesel mechanic in the Navy. So I was going to follow that family tradition and I wanted to go into aviation in the Navy because I've always been mechanically inclined ever since a child. My dad would get mad at me because I'd take his lawnmowers apart and try to figure out how to put them back together. I went and took the Navy physical and I told him what I wanted was aviation. And at that time the Navy said, oh yeah, no problem. We can." You can do that. So we did all the paperwork, and then when I went to sign the papers to join, they said, now, you know, we can't really guarantee that you're gonna be an aviation mechanic in the Navy. And I said, well, I really can't guarantee I'm gonna sign that damn paper. <laughs> Cause I don't want to spill potatoes on a submarine. So that was the end of my Navy career, which lasted about a week. And after that, I moved to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and we were building houses down there. And two of my friends fell off houses and got hurt really bad. And I said, I, uh, I think I'm done with this. So I saw, believe it or not, an ad in the paper about going to aviation school. So I moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and went to, it's called AMP School, which is Airframe and Power Plant. And then after I uh, graduated from college, or trade school, more or less, and moved back to Illinois, I'm from a little town south of Champaign called Paris. I stayed there and did a couple odd jobs. And then I got a chance to move up here the guy that owned this business, Dirk Van Dam, offered me a job as a mechanic. And I worked for him for seven years. And he retired in 19, yeah, no, 1999. And I took over the business, bought him out. And it's 30 years this month since I've been here. I just really enjoy the engine work. I mean, I do airframe work too, you know, rebuild landing gear, do annual inspections. I got my AMP license in uh, 89. I mean, when somebody comes in and says something's wrong with my airplane, I don't know what it is, but here's what it's doing, or here's what it's not doing that it's supposed to, it challenges you to figure out why it's not doing what it's supposed to do or why it's doing something it's not. General aviation, you have to have a maintenance facility in an airport to make the airport viable. People just don't want to base an airplane at somewhere where they can't get service. I've got fuel, I've got maintenance. I try to take care of everybody, you know. I get calls on Sunday afternoon all the time and I'm like, eh, no problem, I'll be there in 10 minutes get them back in the air. And you know, if it's something serious, I'm like, well, you're gonna be here a day or two. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of young people getting into this field. As most people know, school is about book learning and you need to get your hands dirty to learn the trade. And I didn't learn that until I'd been here a couple years. Luckily, I had a mentor that, his name was Gordy Rutt. He's passed on now. He, one of the greatest men I ever knew and a great friend. So I'd like to find somebody that would like to run his own business. I would make him a deal of a lifetime and uh, take over the business. 
when I decide I'm not physically able to do it anymore. Because these small airports, you know, if they don't have a maintenance facility, I'm afraid these small airports are gonna die out. You're not gonna get rich doing this, but uh, I think it's more about enjoying your work than wealth. I'd like to do another 10 years. I've got so many customers, good customers, you know, and you meet so many good people. And you know, from being in the aviation community, how many good people there are out there. The aviation, it's a small community, but most people know each other, especially in this area. You know, there's three, four airports within 30 miles, and everybody knows each other. It's kind of a small family in general aviation.